Hello viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name, as you already know, is Mkwali Singube. Uh, I'm here to update you on the new steps that AVG News is taking. Uh, when we launched this channel, it was meant to be a TV channel, an online TV channel or a YouTube TV channel. Then, because of the high volumes of questions that we're getting from Zimbabweans, who hold the Zimbabwe exemption permit, who want to be assisted with information on how they can go around the process of applying. We then saturated this channel, flooded it with videos uh, explaining the ZEP application process, answering questions from people who had challenges applying or who wanted to know more about the application process and also who wanted updates on the latest test in as far as policy issues are concerned. But as we had promised, this is now going to shift. Beginning next week, you can see that uh, the video quality has already changed. It is because we have invested in new equipment for this channel and we want to take the broadcasting to a whole different level we are introducing several different programs that we want to roll out, not only to Zimbabweans, because this is not a Zimbabwean channel. It is a channel for the whole of Africa. We want to cover stories of South Africans. We want to cover stories of other African nations in South Africa. We want to cover stories from all over Africa and stories pertaining to the life and challenges, as well as successes of Africans all over the world, hence the name African Voice Global. We want to be the voice of Africans across the globe. But because we are based in South Africa, where we are registered as a company, as a media company, officially registered with everything, tax clearances and everything uh, in, set, uh, in place, we are compliant with all the requirements of South African companies so we are rolling out a full program a full tv program for you which we hope you are going to enjoy please subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so that you don't miss out whenever we go out there to cover issues whenever we come love with this blog because the blog is going to continue but because this is not a channel for just one man only single this is a channel for every African, we are going to be introducing a team to you that we're going to work with beginning next week. We also have a Facebook page, African, which is AVG News. We also have a Twitter page, AVG News. We also have a, a LinkedIn page, AVG News, where you can also get more from us. We are also introducing a news website starting next week where we will be publishing stories from all over Africa, including, or rather, let's say, mostly events that are happening in South Africa where we are based, as we spread all over Africa. Very soon we'll be sending out uh, vacancies where we seek to employ people from all over the African continent, including South Africans, some of whom we are already working with. So we have 15 programs that have already been uh, approved by the production team and management and these are there will be a daily blog which is exactly what i'm giving you now but it will be spread across the african continent because the idea is to make africans understand themselves africans understand africa and the whole world to understand africa we want to be the voice of africans because we have so much relied on information and misinformation about Africa based on stories that were not being told by us as Africans. The second program will be general interviews where we interview people on several topics of interest to our readers. And these people will be from all over the African continent or scholars or those who are interested in knowing more about Africa. It is meant to correct the African story to the outside Africa community. The third one will be having political interviews with political leaders, political activists, political analysts, 
political uh, scientists from all over the African continent about events that are happening globally and also within the African continent. We also have, as a fourth program, a, a, a column titled Inspired to Inspire, where we carry inspirational stories of Africans in South Africa and outside South Africa. And when we say Africans, we don't care about nationality for as long as you identify yourself as an African. We have business interviews where we interview business people, especially entrepreneurs who from rags to riches rose. The sixth one is called Minding the Immigrant, where we tell migrant stories from the mouth of the host themselves. We interview migrants, especially migrant workers, on their challenges here in South Africa, on their living conditions here in South Africa, on their general way of life here in South Africa, on their triumphs here in South Africa, and their rise from one position to the next in South Africa. So this is about migrants who are based in South Africa and especially migrant workers. We want to know about their contribution to the South African economy. Are they paying tax? How much are they paying? How are they paying? Is it true that they are paying tax? We also will be interviewing organizations that deal with migrant issues. We'll be interviewing experts on migration, migration lawyers and South African government authorities. We have documentaries as number seven, where we document, we, we, we tell the stories, deep stories about Africans in South Africa and outside South Africa. Number eight, we tell investigative stories. We'll be covering investi investigative stories. There are critical issues that are happening out there which need to be told to the world, which need to be told to Africans, which need to be told to general Africans, to the population of Africa, and to those outside Africa who are interested in hearing the African story. We will be digging and giving you the story behind the story. Uh, we also have, as number nine, a program very interesting titled Know My Africa. Here, we get deep into being African, the uniqueness of being an African. We talk about African music. We explain it, give examples. Why did we get to be singing uh, jazz, for example, in South Africa as a form of waging the war of liberation? We have icons like Miriam Makeba, we have Yuma Segela. They sing jazz as an African way of fighting for liberation. We want to tell those stories. We want to review that kind of music. We have Imbatanga, we have Imbube, Statamia, if you call it, we have Inguzu, we have several African uh, genres that we want to explain to the world so that it gets to appreciate the uniqueness of Africa. Here we also tell about culture, we explain the African culture, traditions, languages. There is Ndebele in Zimbabwe, there is Ndebele in Pumalanga, but they are different. It's correlated to Zulu here in South Africa. How did these languages get to be? How are they linked? What are the roots to these languages and the people who speak these languages in different African countries? We have rituals that we carry out. We have our own religion which has been overtaken by Christianity. We want to tell the stories of those religions, why our ancestors are not demons, why we reach out to our God through our ancestors, why we already knew God before the first, do uh, the first ship carrying Jan van Riepik docked in Cape Town. We want these to be known so that Africans get to appreciate themselves as Africans so that they don't continue to play second fiddle to other nations and other continents. We have African cuisines, the food that means a lot to us, our traditional dishes. We need to explain those, their taste, how they are uh, cooked, the ingredients that make up kwasa kwasa, a Canadian dish, 
the, the ingredients that make up uh, umkhanga, a Zimbabwe dish, a kusi, a Nigerian dish. We want to explain this, how it's cooked, and the nutritional value that it has to, to one's body. So this is Normal Africa. Number 10, we've got hot seat interviews. Stories of interest. Controversial stories will bring people here and we put them on the spot about certain issues. Zimbabweans are suffering in Zimbabwe. There's a ZANU-PF office and a ZANU-PF structure here in South Africa. We bring their spokesperson here, their chairpersons here. We ask them those critical questions. We want to understand. It's not like we're judging people. We want to understand why certain people do certain things. We also have as number 11, a program called Don't Judge Me, where we interview people who are on the back foot in life, where we interview people who are seen as enemas in life, where we interview people who have been judged by society. And we say, what is the story behind that boy on the street ending up taking drugs? What is the story behind such a particular person ending up in jail, being convicted of a crime? We want to know the story behind that lady there choosing to be a prostitute, commercial sex worker. We want to know the story behind a human trafficker. We want to know all these stories so that we get to work as a society towards solving some of these issues that are affecting us. The other one, number 12, is celebrity gossip. This one is self-explanatory. Number 13, current affairs. We talk African affairs. We interview people all over Africa through Zoom or through face-to-face -face interviews. We want to know what is happening in Africa. Why is it happening in Africa? Is there a way that the rest of the African continent can contribute towards the betterment of these situations? Number 14, we have African news. That is new, a news bulletin from all over Africa. And then number 15, we have shoppies. That is music reviews, entertainment uh, reviews, all the other stuff. So we have also as number 16, a sports column where we'll be reviewing games that are played, games that are about to be played. Where we give predictions, especially this is going to appeal especially to gamblers, those who do Pandas, should I say? Uh, the Pandas will get to get a rough idea of how to uh, play their games and where to put their money. We also have uh, several other topics that are going to be introduced. We're still receiving applications, but we'll introduce a team during the course of the week. Then it will be all systems go. We are building a studio in Johannesburg. And is going to be there for your service. We'll be giving out numbers of people that you will you will have to contact when you need us to cover your events, uh, to cover situations that are happening in your area, to cover newsworthy stuff around your area. So thank you very much. Please subscribe subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Don't mind Scom. The lights just went off, but this is where we are right now. Thank you.